Here we are with Attack on Titan Season 4, Episode 1. I watched Attack on Titan Season 1, 2 and 3, um, but I don't have it as reactions because I just started doing reactions. But I don't know anything about Attack on Titan Season 4. Uh, the only things I know about it is basic, basically the trailers and the rumbling because that was all over the place. And so I don't know much about the rumbling. I just know how Aaron looks and I know what's happening, but I don't know how it happens and I don't know what happens after. It happens basically and so yeah this is pretty much blind i would say and yeah if you like what you see or if you want to support me leave a like subscribe or a comment i would really appreciate it and it would really help me but i would say let's get to the episode Ooh. so we start right off we saw this in the trailers i remember it still that there's like a war going on or something with tanks i think and soldiers Cold. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Dude, this is so different already from Attack on Titan. Alien Vanguard. Okay. Aren't the aliens the ones that live on the islands with the titans? Like where Eren comes from? For four years. Does he have amnesia because he hit his head too hard? What? What is going on? Fort Slava? Yeah, this is like very confusing for me right now. <laughs> God damn it, dude, he's mad. To be the next warrior. I mean, Reinhardt said he was a warrior, so he thinks ahead of the next war. The Armored Titan. Paradise Island. I'm super confused right now. But I'm super confused about this whole thing with like him being like, yeah, I remember flying through the airs like whoosh and fighting titans. And that's like what happens in the previous season. So, but this is not here. Yeah. Reiner has the armor titan. So maybe this is before Attack on Titan ha happened. Resolve. No, the aliens are over the seas, right? What's she doing with all those grenades? A super grenade? Or maybe this isn't the current time. And maybe they want to take the armor titan away from Reiner and give it to someone else. Because he failed. He failed or something? Jaw and the card. The tanks? Anti-Titan cannon. One shot. Wait, 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 wait. I, I have to go back. Even one of the nine titans. So the nine titans are like the attack titan and all that stuff. I have to go back again. Dude, what the hell? I'm, I'm... So much information, Jesus! But if they did, then we lose two. Okay, now I have it. Titan warriors. Colossal, colossal and female. Postponed. Okay, so they might be back now. This might be in the current time. Okay, I think I get it now. Okay. Yeah, they are like, nope. This is hell. <laughs> Oh yeah, and oh my god, that's why they are so shocked. Oh, I yeah, I guess I, I guess I remember now. Aliens are the ones that have that can turn into titans, right? And so that's why they are exposable. Herod's beast. Oh my god. Oh, she wants to go with a super grenade. She's ready to go. 
What's she gifted with? Just maybe natural talent for this stuff? And I feel bad about it. She knows her way with the words. Oh, she tries. She fakes a surrender. Oh. <laughs> She's very tactical about it. She knows what she's doing. She has an exact plan in her head how she wants to do it. Can she throw it that far? Is that what she wants to do? <laughs> Dude, how far? This must have been very far. And they're dead. <laughs> Got squished. <laughs> she's happy about it. I killed everyone! Hell yeah, let's go! Oh, is she getting away? Or... <laughs> NA aim! <laughs> oh, the Titan! A Titan came! What is this one? This is new. We saw it in the trailer, but I don't know what it is. Galliard. On the offensive. Airdrops. Ah, don't tell me they throw out aliens. Oh, there's Reiner. I thought maybe they throw out uh, aliens that have like bombs on them and just drop them as bombs. That would be crazy. <laughs> okay, now they go on the offensive that the armor train is broken. Dude, this is insane. Rip. Rip. <laughs> Double kill. Quadra kill. <laughs> and he breaks the rails. This is a good thing. I, it's, it's a good plan, I guess. And they have towers on him to shoot. Movable towers. Oh, they speak different languages. This is interesting. But I guess it makes sense. Why are they running? What happened? Oh, because the other ones come in now? So they retreat that they don't get catched in the crossfire? Are these aliens? I would guess those might be aliens that just drop in as like bombs or something. Zeke and Reiner going in as titans, I guess. Yep. Oh, they transform them into titans. Okay, that's from the intro. Falling titans. <laughs> Holy shit, this is crazy, man. But how did he activate it? He just screamed and that activated the titan stuff? This must be... No wonder that they run away, because they don't want to get catched by titans. This is some nasty strategies. Oh, so yeah, the kids must be aliens too, right? Because only the aliens can inherit titans, right? So those are just chosen aliens that they use to for titans. For the nine titans. Okay. He remembers. And now comes the big boy. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Ooh. <laughs> I guess this won't work. Oh! God damn it, bro! Oh, he has to defend from those. Oh, god damn it. Anti Titan shells. Even his armor, yeah. Oh, ho, ho. oh there's another train. Oh. Oh. Ho, 
<laughs> oh god damn it! He just bulldozed it. Oh, the other one comes in clutch. Ooh. This is crazy that they have anti-titan shells that can even break the armor titan. That is basically the armor. Like this, I guess, like the strongest defensive titan basically that can take the most. Wouldn't make much sense otherwise. And he throws a train. Oh, god damn. This episode is pretty crazy as a start. With how much chaos and brutality and blood goes on. I didn't thought that we would get an opening, like a first episode like this, with so much stuff going on. I thought maybe like lots of dialogue or stuff, but not so much action. What did he say? Our defeat of this war? Let me go back. Our defeat caused this war. Why? Or well, are these anti-titan shells? And he throws them. We know he can throw with his long arms. Oh, this will be crazy. This will be crazy. <laughs> oh! What happened? Did they shoot back? And more. I think they shot back. <laughs> Dude, this is like a long range shotgun. Just more devastating. <laughs> Isn't this Hachi's voice? Yeah, with the anti Titan stuff. Yeah, they can't get Aaron back. They failed that mission already and they have other things to worry about. Who is this? Looks a bit like Kenny from like the hairstyle, but. Color wise, not the same. And Kenny's dead. Okay, this was episode one of Attack on Titan season four. And there's like a lot of things that I don't quite remember from the previous seasons because it's been been years since I watched season three and the rest. Um so basically <clears throat> the Eldians are the ones that are the Titans that get sent to the island where El uh, Aaron and others are when they do some bad stuff, I think and to get turned into titans so the aliens are those so some live in male i guess is the other country where they live overseas and so they live there and when they do some bad stuff i think they get sent over or used for war i guess too for the titan powers and so we have male which is a country and they are at war uh, at war with the middle eastern federation because there was a middle eastern federation fleet and so basically they had a war going on for four years to take the Fort Slava back. I don't know what exactly that is and why they need to take it back. I think that it was maybe something the Middle Eastern Federation built, I guess. I would assume maybe. And from there the... Or maybe not. Maybe the they just took it over and the fleet was coming or not. I have no idea. That's the confusing part. I don't know. Did they took it over or did they build it? To go at war, to war with Marley, and uh, why did it took so long that the fleet comes in? That they had so much time to take over the fort to attack the fleet. Um, but yeah, then we have Gabi, a uh, Gabi, Colt, and Falco, who are basically like recruits to inherit the nine Titan powers, right? And right now they want to give one of those to the powers of the Beast Titan, I think, from what it sounds like, and Armor Titan or just Armor Titan, and it seems like G Gabby is like the most suited for it because she is just really good at it. Um, so it's interesting because some of those aliens, they just push aside and use for like bombing and stuff, literally, just as cannon fodder. Uh, fodder. And some aliens, they, I guess, that have potential, they just recruit those, train them, which costs a lot of money, and then they can inherit the nine titan powers. And it's interesting because some of them seem to like it. It's like Gabby seems to want it because I guess maybe because it's like it's either becoming really good and becoming one of those nine titans or just being cannon fodder or and being like treated as dirt so I guess that's just a better life and that's why they want to do it and why they don't mind it uh, or maybe they just like it G Gabby seems like she really liked doing that stuff um, 
And so, yeah, they failed at the mission of getting the found, uh, founding Titan powers back, which ha is in um, Aaron, which is also, which also, he also has uh, the attack Titan powers, right? So he basically has two Titans, if I remember correctly, right? Attack Titan and the founding Titan, um, if that's correct. Maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong, um, because there's so much stuff going on right now, and there's, it's been such a long time. Um, and... So they failed at that, and now um, Zeke said this war happened because they failed their missions of getting the founding titan back, right? So maybe this war could have been avoided, or could have been easier if they had gotten Eren's titan back, the uh, founding titan, so they could just control all, the, all those titans and wouldn't have to resort to tactics like dropping them, like taking over, getting rid of the armor train to drop them onto the fort fort to take it over with the founding titans. They just could like um, tell the titans to go there and take over. I guess that would make things much easier. Um, and that's why they say maybe, okay, we this all just happened because we failed at taking it back and so we have to take the hard route now and now they also have like no time it seems like to get the founding titan back because they are at war with the middle eastern federation i think i don't know if that's the actual name or not um so they have like other stuff to deal with right now instead of going back and trying again to get Aaron. So yeah, very interesting episode, a lot of information, didn't expect so much action and so much like new stuff because before we always were just on the other side, on the island and had to deal with normal Titan stuff and at the end with Zeke and Reiner being like warriors and from over the sea and now we have like all this new information dump with completely different politics stuff going on um, but I guess I hope... I will figure it out somewhere down the line. Um, I definitely have to rewatch some scenes from the episode to like reread it when I'm editing so that I can catch up and catch the things that I may miss. But I think it's also interesting that they have like so much advanced stuff on the other over the seas, right? Uh, at Marley with like anti uh, anti Titan anti Titan uh, weapons and stuff that can literally just destroy Titans like nothing, where, where they have to be really careful. Which is very interesting because so far Titans were like this overpowered force you had like no chance against. And the cannon they had on the island, I think they called Paradise Island or whatever, um, those were like nothing against it. Like Armor Titan could just run through it, nothing, no problem. And here they have like the stuff where even Reiner's Armor Titan has like problems and just get pierced like nothing. Which is very interesting that so far Titans seem to be like this overpowered force and now they are like not so overpowered anymore where they have to be careful. They are still strong if used right or whatever. Um, which sounds very bad if used right because we saw how they just got dropped on top of the fort. Which is also interesting, like I said, um, how did he activate it? Just by screaming? I don't know. I don't know how that happened. And now they become like less and less effective. But hey, we will see how it goes. Uh, and what happens in the next episode. But yeah, if you like what you saw, if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe, or a comment. I would really appreciate it, and it would really help me. But yeah, till next time. Bye-bye.